Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tutorial Guide. In this video, I am going to show you how to upgrade your firmware of your Wi-Fi router. In mine, I am having TP-Link, so I will be show, I will be showing how to upgrade TP-Link firmware. So first of all, you need to type this IP address on your address bar of your browser. So let's see because it is having some of them having different type address you can refer it from manufacturer of your router. So let's now I'm having the one one ninety two point one six eight point one point one. So it will be showing TP Link login page. So let's here you can find out the model number of your router. Here what I'm having in eighty nine sixty eight. So first you need to go and open this website called tplink.com slash en slash download center and then simply find your model so I am having 1868 so because it will it is a very many stuff so if you having v1 version v2 version v3 version or version 4 so mine's having v3 version so if you wanna find how which hardware version you are having means so let's click on this link it will be redirect to another page and it will be showing the where will be the model sorry version number will be find out so inside scc id you can find out the version number and then back side of your router you can be find out this qr barcode scanner like structures and you can find out the version number so in mine i am having version 3.0 so let's know i am having to download the version 3 points in your cases you can having a different version so first check out and then download the required version of your mod router if you installed another versions firmware means it will break and damage your sorry it will uh, damage your router so let's click on find support now it will be showing the download for 8968 version 3 so in case uh, you can uh, also having the other model scheme so just find out here and then version number which is i am lo shown lost you can also find out the facts so let's see the firmware section so just read out this conditions first time so it will be saying do not power off during upgrade do not upgrade the firmware through wireless connection unless the device only has a wireless connection it is recommended to that users stop all internet application on the computer or simply disconnect internet line from the device before upgrade use decompression source such as windows so just read out this firmware guide so let's download this will be having 12.5.2015 this I think it is the latest build oh, these are all older build so let's so I am going to download 12.5.2015 so let's start download so it will have finished the downloading process so let's open folder So just extract to e1868. It will be differ from your version, your model. So because I am having 1868. So in case if you are having other models, means you can also extract and find out these folders. Inside this, you can find out these files. So let's go to so this you can also refer the bugs which is have been fixed in this build. So let's log in into your router. So another one thing is so you can't your device configuration won't be lost. 
if you have configure your device with your isp means it will it won't affect the isp settings and the passwords and usernames it will be placed as such which having you have saved last time so let's you can see here so mine shall be uh, logging in so here you can find out in Said management here click on after opening your logging in your tp link modem so just scroll down to management and select a bridge device so let's here you can find out what firm version i am having so let's 1.0.5 build which has 5 Zero to fifteen, which is built in second month of this year. So let's go to management and select upgrade. You can also backup setting before doing that. So let's click on backup settings and it will configure the file. So let's you can also backup your settings and then after you can import or export it. So just go down to upgrade to firmware. Select from your desired directory which has been extracted. So then go to comprised eighteen and sixty eight and select this bin file and click on open. Because I know I am saying that because I am having eighteen and sixty eight model. Number so it will be differs so you must check out eighty nine sixty eight your first your model number then after your version it will be shown in the um, backside of your router then after you need to install the proper firmware because otherwise it will damage your Wi-Fi router so let's I have check it is my eighty nine sixty eight device and then after I am having the version three which is download from the support website of the TP link so then after click on update firmware so it will be taking some amount of time to update the process updating process so wait until we will see if it will complete so here you can find out the uploading is in process so it will be showing it will be reboot upon completion so we they have given the process time will be take about two minutes so wait until it will be completing so my thing is that you must find out the model proper model in your support website of your device if you don't find here you can find out the model number then after you must check the proper version so otherwise it will fully damage so be careful doing this so let's uh, if you don't know you can also fulfill a command i will try to find out your device model number i uh, sorry i device firmware link so i will be provide you on comment section so let's see it will be taking some amount of time so it will be Last test to completing process. Now it will be restarting the router. So let's we need to log in. It will be given in your Wi-Fi router's backside. So click on login. So let's here you can find out we have upgrade the firmware to latest version, which is we downloading from support website. 12.5.15 so in last we have having 12.2 and 2.15 so that's all guys if you wanna import your settings just click on and select import and browse out your file from I think so it will be in download section here backup settings dot config file select import and import settings so it will also take the rebooting process so that's all guys white we will i will show you if the settings are will be imported correctly or not
so that's all guys now i am imported my previous backup settings that's all guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends if you have any doubts you can fulfill in comment section down below have a nice day bye bye see you on next video